And that's what it looks like. Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to put a bail handle on your USGI canteen cup. Stay tuned. Before we get started, I want to remind you that we teach survival and bushcraft classes here at our facility in Southern Ohio, and you can find more information about that at www.waypointsurvival.com. We teach survival and bushcraft all the way from phase one through phase four, which is our primitive survival and bushcraft class. And also, a lot of people don't watch to the end of the video when I always say this, but please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. So if you're anything at all like me, you like gear. And one of the best pieces of gear that a lot of people use over the years is the USGI canteen and canteen cup, which nests and makes an awesome pot. Now, this is titanium. This is my heavy cover set. And I know this is really expensive for a lot of people. It took me a lot of years before I pulled the trigger and bought this. But anyway, I do like it. I've used it, as you can see. But, you know, the USGI canteen cup and canteens, they're pretty cheap. And a lot of people use them. You can even buy them in bulk. And one of the problems that you always have with this is while you can slide it into the fire, you can put it up, up next to the fire, of course, but hanging it is always a problem because there's no bail handle. And I've been puzzling over this for a long time. How can I put a bail handle on here in a way that's effective, out of the way when you're not using it, and yet sturdy? So I've come up with something. I think you'll like it. So for this project, we're going to start off with a new canteen cup and canteen. Of course, you don't need the canteen, so we're going to remove it. Just the cup. You can see here, standard cup, no modifications, and we're not putting any holes in this cup because we don't want to damage it and we don't want to ruin its capacity for cooking or holding a maximum amount of liquid. Next, you're going to want to get a hose clamp. And this goes all the way up to five inches. And this is very important because it needs to be able to fit around the top with some extra left over. Now the challenge to this pot is that we want it to hang basically level. And that means we can't put the pivot point here or the cup will tilt this way. Obviously that's a non-starter because it'll spill our liquid out and it won't hold as much. So you need to put the pivot points back in this area so that it hangs level like this when you hang it over the fire and it's full of liquid. So what we're going to do is we take this hose clamp and we put it around the top here and we want the screw part facing this direction and we're going to move it slightly to one side. Basically when we're done we want these, this bolt, the screw area to be somewhere in the center where this indent is. That's going to keep it from rubbing against our gear and it's going to make it a lot handier to slide in and out of its pouch. So we set it something like this, keeping this over to one side because when you tighten this, it's going to pull it this direction. Next, setting this above the top, we're going to have to make a cutout to go over top of these ears. Don't worry, there's plenty of strength in just part of this band for what we need. It doesn't hold that much weight. And then you're going to take and you're going to make a mark. Now, make sure that you make this wide enough that you've got a little bit of room for the hose clamp to rotate. This ear is a little lower than this handle, so we need to go up until you only have maybe a third left. And you're going to cut out that section right there. You can do this with a hacksaw, you can do it with snips, a uh, Dremel tool works best, but just make sure you clean up any rough edges. When you get that done, it's going to look like this, so that when we go to slip it over top of the cup, as you can see, it will fit in this area right here, over top of those ears, just like that. So next you want to go ahead and put this on here, do a test fit, make sure that that's thin enough, and that you've got a little bit of room on each side so you can move this back and forth to adjust the hanging position. Then go ahead, take a screwdriver, and tighten it down. Once you get that tightened on there, it's going to look kind of like this. Now we have to determine exactly where we want it to hang. And again, we want it to hang with this part out, because this is going to help us to take it on and off the fire. So we don't want the ears folded in. So it's going to be about right here. 
So it changes it a little bit by putting the weight of this on the front, but basically it's going to hang level in about that position. So what you do is you take your marker and you put a little mark here and you turn it around putting your finger about where that one little mark was again getting it level so it hangs right you can find the pivot point pretty easy and then go ahead and put a mark here alright once we know where our pivot points are we've got our two little dots then we come over here and we transfer it straight down to where this hose clamp is so right there and right here next we take the hose clamp off and we disassemble it we take this part of course we can always put it back together and then we flatten it out like this so we can see where this is you may want to wear a glove to do this we're going to take a drill and this is a 7 32nd drill bit and we're going to drill out each of these holes one here and then also one here i'll do that and get back with you once you get that done you're going to have two holes about like this so it's going to look like the hose clamp of course you'll go ahead and put it back together then next you're going to want to get some chicago screws and these are black quarter inch you can see the size there if you want to screenshot that but anyway you can get these at different places and what's nice about these is there is a screw and then there is a nut they go together just like this now we don't need the screw part what we're looking for is this section right here this little hole in it and it's got this flat kind of a rounded back this will fit perfectly into our 7 32nd hole on each side okay so one here and one over here next taking care to hold these in and not drop them we're going to go ahead and reassemble this just like this and tighten up the screw all right once you get that cranked down pretty good you'll see our little dots here and here and then our pivot points and it hangs pretty level so we've got that part finished and it's looking pretty good next we have half of a clothes hanger so the hook would have been up here on this side and this would be the other half of the hanger so you only need one half just clip it in the half and then clip the hook off of the side and you're going to start with something like this and you're going to bend it into this shape right here this will make a lot more sense in just a second so what this does or these ears are they attach just like this into the can all right because then just like this, you want to keep it above the surface of the bottom here. So again, it's not sitting on this handle. But then, of course, when we lift it up, then it will hang just like so. Now, if you've done this properly, you can still use your little GI stove. You can slip it on. This will go around and nest this way. And then these ears should close over top just like this on each side and then the canteen goes in and it still fits inside of the pouch and easily snap shut and there we go before I put it on the fire I want to show you that having this on here in no way affects your ability to drink out of it. it works just fine and uh, you can tilt it sideways this doesn't flop around on you pretty well stays put and uh, just works really well making coffee and things like that so you're not really going to notice this and you might also want to cut off this little tab here and shorten this uh, when you uh, are putting this together so you don't have that sticking out at the end just make it a little bit shorter so it's a little more unobtrusive so there it is hanging on a tripod over the fire. The nice thing about this design is when you're ready to take it off the fire, you just simply grab a hold of the handles, lift up, comes right off. Then you can add your soup or hot chocolate or coffee, whatever you wish, and continue about your business.
This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure and check out the links in the description box below, just under the More button. And while you're down there, you'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link. And this is where you can sign up to take great survival and bushcraft classes here at our beautiful training facility in Southern Ohio. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.